Good morning, modern stutters. It's below zero this morning. It's cold. I know we're starting the video the same way as yesterday morning, but I'm sorry. We're working right next to the wood stove. And this is how we heat our house. We heat 3,000 square feet, our basement, and our upstairs with our wood burning stove. No electricity. It's awesome. And I get to keep my cup of coffee warm. This morning we're going to finish working on our door for our cave. I'm going to keep you inside. The camera doesn't do too good outside when it's that cold out. It fogs up going in and out and the battery dies a lot quicker when it's colder. So I gotta go outside right now, move my truck forward, set up my chop saw, get a few cuts made, and when I come back, we'll be assembling the door. We're gonna start with the door frame we made yesterday. If you didn't see the video for us building the frame of the door and building the casing on the cave, I'll put a link to that video right here. Just want to make sure my ends are all flushed and squared up. I thought I had another thing of glue. So we're gonna glue all we're gonna glue all the boards on too. Take that first screw out for now. question is, the last board's going to be a little over four inches wide. Do we go like this and then put the four inch wide one? Do I go like this, have the four inch wide one there? Do I put the four inch wide one here? I mean, it really doesn't matter. It's just more preference than anything. Just using what we had for boards. I don't want to get carried away and get too fancy. I think I'll go like this and we'll put the four inch wide one in the middle. Yeah, that'll work. In yesterday's video, after we built what we could build for the day, I shared some of our family eating dinner and getting ready to go out for the night. The reason why I share all that is we do all of this to provide the best food possible for our family. So for just having the DIY, we are missing a whole other part of the story. We do this for the best food. I guess you know what, let's get them all in place and then we can clamp them all together. We have a two inch thick of foam, that's four by eight. And this is gonna be more than big enough to do the whole door. We can double it up. We're gonna have a four inch thick slab of foam in the door.
We have a lot of stuff in our basement. One of them is this automatic chicken plucker we're trying to give away. When we hit 20,000 subscribers, we're going to be giving away the automatic chicken plucker. If you can help us out with this problem, we'd love it. Share the videos and let's get to 20,000 subscribers so we can get a little bit more room in our basement. Now, if you can see right here, it's scored on both sides. So we're going to break it right there. nails left over from when we built the outdoor kitchen. If you haven't seen our outdoor kitchen build project, I'll put a link to those videos right here. Oh no! It's not big enough. I planned on that. Stick with me for a minute. So I left about a half inch gap all the way around. The reason I did that is I know no matter how hard I try, I wasn't going to get a perfect fit, a nice cut. So I figured about the half inch, then I can fill the half inch area with great stuff. and seesaw over here. We're going to trim out the front. This might be going a little overboard, but you know what? I think it'll look nice and just dress it up that much more. Figaro's got to check out our work. What do you think, Figaro? Does the door pass your inspection? Does it pass your inspection, Pluto? Let's see how it fits now. Oh, 
open, I, it'll be snug enough I can just leave it. Nice, without nailing it, I can figure out my lengths for my uprights, and then we'll nail everything in place. So cold outside, my wood's all frosted. I think it's safe to say it's starting to look more and more like the entranceway to a mine shaft or to a cave. I think we can call it a cave realistically. gonna do this but we have a bunch of scrap pieces. Oh I guess I gotta cut that side down. That should do it. I like it. Just finishes it off. Nice! My Stormy Cromer hat sure comes in handy on days like today when you're in and out. Keep your ears warm. Alright, let's put the last piece up for the day. I undid the light bulb. Maybe you can see a little bit nicer now. There. That looks nice. I like the looks of that. It looks a lot different than it did when we started first thing this morning. So we're going to have to end today's video. Tomorrow we'll trim out the inside and we'll install the door. That's going to be exciting. We're going to let the door dry overnight. Let Gina pick out what side of the door she wants showing out. And it's going to be fun. It's going to be interesting to see what it looks like when it's all said and done. I wanted to thank all the modern steaders who've been supporting us on Patreon. If you want to check out our Patreon page, I'll put a link to it here and in the description down below. Hope you had just as much fun as I did building the project. Thanks for liking, commenting, and subscribing. And we'll see you right back here tomorrow at Lumna Acres, a guide to modern homesteading, self-sufficiency, and freedom.